he just had a video on um, how to heal when you've been ghosted. Now, I have to tell you, I didn't even, you know, I kind of vaguely knew what being ghosted meant. Um, but it happened to me, so I want to talk about how to heal when you've been ghosted. Hey goddesses, namaste, it's Yogini Kala, and I'm so glad you're here as usual. I am so blessed to have you be a part of my tribe, and um, I want to share today, I just saw a video, I was going to do something different, um, but I was just watching a video by Ralph Smart, and he is of Infinite Waters, <laughs> Diving Deep, and if you don't know him, check out his channel. Um, just really interesting guy and uh, kind of far out um, covers a lot of topics that um, that I'm interested in I wouldn't necessarily make videos on so it's kind of a nice compliment to my channel so check him out it's very very popular and really funny like I see why he built such a, a huge channel but it happened to me so I want to talk about how to heal when you've been ghosted and not um, not in a dating situation what happened to me and I think you know, this gets addressed less often, but is in a situation where it's a friend or an acquaintance. And, um, you know, you really think that things are good and, you know, this person just really suddenly stops communicating with you. Um, so my therapist was like, yeah, it's really common now. You know, because I actually was, um, oops, was talking to her about it because, so what ghosting is that I'm talking about um, that I understand is when someone just unexpectedly, right, stops talking to you, stops communicating out of the blue. So I'm not talking about like, you know, something happened, you had an argument. Um, again, like to dive into it, I feel like that's understandable. Like even if somebody, it's still really upsetting, don't get me wrong, and, and share in the comments, you know, if this has happened to you. Yeah, it's still upsetting if, if you've had an argument with someone and then they ghost you. Um, but at least you know, like, okay, they're pissed about this. They're mad about what I said. Um, you know, whatever. It's still really painful. But what I'm talking about, and I guess what ghosting really means is when, and especially given the state of social media, right, and our communication now, right, all digital, when somebody just stops talking to you, which is what happened to me. Um, this person, I would say, uh, an acquaintance, um, you know, we, we relate in several different ways. Um, friendship, acquaintance, um, and so on. Long time friends. I don't want to give too many details. And just no, no sign that anything is wrong. In fact, you guys, like, you know, I think ghosting is more painful when the person is giving you very positive signals, right? Very positive feedback. Um, this person is specifically like, you know, basically made plans like this is when we're going to communicate some more and uh, do some stuff, uh, do some stuff together. Um, sort of a business, actually sort of a business relationship, business slash acquaintance friendship. And they just like disappeared and um, you know it is very painful it is very painful and I think the main thing that I wanted to touch on here is I think as as human beings we want a reason um, we want a reason you know they've done studies on um, if you literally use the word because like if you I think it was like with somebody wanting to make copies and if the person said something as stupid as can I cut ahead of you because I have to make copies <laughs> the people be like oh okay or I'm in a rush or something but really literally it could be as simple as I need to make copies that was their excuse why they had to get ahead and people would say oh, okay so I think as human beings if we have a reason if we have that cognitive like understanding of anything we it just helps us to um, not to say tolerate it, but to really understand it. You know, if, 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 you know, sometimes, you know, when a crime happens and we're like, okay, well, that person was deemed insane. It doesn't mean that you sort of are like, oh, okay, well, but it helps you understand why they committed that act or, you know, so reasons are, I think are really important. 
for human beings and I think it's part of our makeup and so in this case you know and if you've suffered it where the person gives no clue you just don't have any idea so your curiosity is piqued your you don't understand you don't know why and that curiosity never gets uh, you know satiated you I think that's a huge part of why ghosting feels uh, terrible and it also you feel that it, in some way uh, perhaps you misjudge the relationship right because you wouldn't think that they would treat you that way so there's a sense of mistrust of yourself that maybe you really didn't have a good sense of this person you didn't have a good sense of the relationship um, you know, and all of that undermines your, uh, it can undermine your sense of well-being for sure. So I think the main suggestion I have, if you have been ghosted in terms of a, like a work relationship, uh, um, acquaintanceship, which is what I'm talking about. I mean, it's much harder if it is a sort of a deep friendship, but uh, a couple of things that Ralph said that I really liked. Actually, let me um, hold on. Let me get my notes uh, that I wrote down um, from his video. And you may, like I said, check it out. He had the phrase, you know, marry yourself, which is I've always thought was something so beautiful. It's like you're there for yourself no matter what, right? You're your own spouse. Marry yourself. I really like that. And become your own twin flame. Love that statement because. I, you know, the whole twin flame thing, I think can be um, a bit, can be escapism in a certain way for some people. And so this idea of be your own twin flame, be there for yourself, be that profound partner that is loving and caring and supportive for yourself, because you're always, you know, wherever you go, there you are, right? <laughs> so you may as well have that within yourself. So I love that. That was something that... Um, that infinite water shared as well and then the main thing um, that is that I would add to is focus on what you can control so acknowledge yourself acknowledge you know you feel hurt maybe write out how you're feeling acknowledge that you feel sad hurt disappointed and then say to yourself I would I would say what can I learn from this what can I, if anything, can I learn from this? And it may just be, um, I wouldn't say something like, well, don't trust people <laughs> or don't trust people like that person. Something more like, you know, what, maybe what we're going to learn from it is how to heal better when it happens, if it happens again. So knowing also the wisdom I want to impart to is I really get, I think that when people go someone they're under a lot of personal strain. That's the sense that I get. <sighs> because if they're not able to literally, you guys, there's so many ways, you know, Facebook Messenger, email, text, call, send an old fashioned letter. If they're not able to, in a few words, just say something like, really, you know, I'm, I'm just super busy. I feel a little overwhelmed right now. Um, and so I'm not able to focus on our relationship or on what we had agreed on even that you guys tell me in the comments wouldn't that make you feel better because it would me because I'm like okay they feel overwhelmed it's not anything that I did okay so the fact that someone can't give that little nugget of response that they have ghosted you where no response nothing and you've tried multiple times multiple different ways different methods because you know we all know sometimes they they get thousands of emails I literally I just have so many emails or uh, they are not looking at Facebook so they didn't see your your private message or you know you try you've tried different ways and you've gotten no response that tells me that they're under a tremendous amount of stress and that what we can then do is the person feeling a little bit um, harmed or upset by this is to say you know what definitely give them space. I think then the issue becomes how to relate. And I don't, that part I don't have an answer for. How to relate to that person in the future. Um, because apparently people can ghost you and then reappear. So I would just say to you, 
share your feelings with someone else, with a dear friend, or just write it out. This is how I'm feeling and acknowledge yourself that that's okay. You obviously were invested in the relationship more than they were. And since you didn't do this to them, were a little more caring in, in how you were treating them. And then get to the compassion piece of for whatever reason, they're not able to give a simple response. Um, and just, you know, that's it. it can be very difficult. I have a meditation on forgiveness that is very, very popular. It's been out for, for some years. Um, and it is a meta, it's a guided uh, forgiveness for yourself and for others. Really beautiful. I'm going to put it right above here and I'll put it at the end of the video. And just acknowledge yourself and say, you know, wow, that was painful. But know that you're stronger than this incident. And it's probably good that it happened now because before you became even more invested in this person and in the relationship. And that's the truth. That's the truth, Ruth. <laughs> so <sighs> give yourself time to heal. Take those little steps. And then just let it go. Just let it go. Go on with your beautiful life. Learn from the experience. Stay soft. Stay open. Don't let it harden you. Don't let it uh, create a negative impact in you. Okay? Much love. Bye-bye.